Hello, everyone. So now let's work on this problem. Given a product function e to the x times sine x, we will like we need to find the first four non-zero terms in a Michelin series. Okay. Symbolically, we can write down the Michelin series, or we just expand this one as much as possible. Then the first four non-zero terms. That means we will need to know the coefficient of each, right? like a0, a1, a2, a3, a4. If, for example, both a0 and a1 equal to zero, that means we're gonna to, potentially, we will need to evaluate, even evaluate the coefficient of uh, x to power five. All right. Okay, so that's the meaning of these questions. Now, uh, the starting point is the Michelin series for the two no functions, exponential function and the sine functions. Okay, and some trick here is we could, of course, we we would like to expand the Michelin series right as many as possible, but then we know somehow we're gonna to stop right because. Potentially, like x to the power of one hundred. Possibly, we don't even we have no interest to 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 write this down, right? And then the first four non-zero terms most likely we're not going to see, you know, uh, x to the power of one hundred, right? And uh, the terms before that one, you see lots of zero, right? Not likely. Okay. So what we could do. It sounds like this, right? So just write down the non-zero terms for the Michelin series for exponential functions, right? And so I was stopped at x to the power of five, but right? it, it may be possible to stop at the, uh, to the power of five terms, okay? And then for the sine x, then I also stopped at the order five terms, okay? We wanted, we needed to include uh, x to the power of five terms here, otherwise, we can only stop at the power three, then then my you know later we may we may not be able to see to do some proper calculations there, right? We will see this later. Okay, so now for this product, we needed to construct right a polynomial like this. Now our goal is to figure out their coefficient, like a zero. A zero is a constant. Right, so that means the first block we take the constant, the second block we take the constant, right? But we can take one from the first block, the second block we could, I mean, the, the constant term will be zero. So one times zero give us zero. Okay, next will be A1. A1, this is a coefficient for the x term, right? The order one. There are two possibilities. We take a constant in the first block, we take uh, order one in the second block, right? So this will be one and x. Or we take the order one in first block and order zero in the second block. However, order zero in the second block it means it's zero. That just means we only have one possibility. Okay, so now we can say the coefficient of the x will be one. Similarly, right? We calculate the coefficient for x squared, right? We can. There's only one possibility, right? Order one and order one in each block, right? We construct square. Next, we consider the coefficient for x cubic. Now x cubic, there are in general, right? X cubic, how to construct this, right? We will have zero plus three, one plus two, two plus one, uh, three plus zero, right? Potentially we might have four possibility, but if look at the structure of the second block, right? Only all the numbers. Oh, only ordered orders. Okay, so that means uh, there are only two possibilities here. We take order zero in block one, order three in block two, or order two in block one and order one in block two. All right, so these multiply these two terms, right? We've got two terms added them together. We will figure out the coefficient is actually one third in this particular case, all right? Now what about A4, right? A4, right? Look, check carefully for the structures. There are two possibilities. 
one, three, and three, one, basically. And now we can see adding them together, the coefficient will be zero. Okay. Now let's just uh, well not stop here. We we'll just pause and look at what we have so far. We know a zero. We know a one. We know a two. We know a three. We know a four. Now it says. Uh, find the first four non-zero terms, right? Because the first term is a zero, this is zero. So we, we, we didn't, we shouldn't count this one, right? So you can see we have one term, second term, the third term, but the fourth term, the fourth term, I mean the a4, that, that one doesn't count, okay? So that means we need to do one more calculation, right? To see what's the coefficient for x to the power five, right? So there will be three possibility corresponding to one, five, two, three, and four, four, one, all right? You can check this later, but no matter what here, we can compute the coefficient. This is non-zero, all right? So it will be negative one over 30, okay? And indeed, this will be the fourth. This will be the fourth non-zero terms, all right? Now, overall, uh, I'd write down the first four non-zero terms here okay so this is uh, the answer to these questions all right <clears throat> okay so here is a quick recap and based on the existing Michelin series we need to write down the first few terms right we are asked to figure out the first four non zero terms all right so it may make sense to write down the first five or six non zero terms in each uh, Michelin series. But of course, uh, this will also depends on the structure, right? And just like for the sign, right? And uh, we see lots of zero, okay? So we only we only have the order, order terms, okay? So it, it makes sense to stop as x to the power five or x to the power seven, okay? All right? And uh, just make sure you understand this calculation procedures, okay? All right, thanks for watching.